Hello children, how are you all? Hope you all are doing great. Uh, I am Shilpa and I am going to teach you signs of grade 2. Children, in first video we have learned about types of plants, right? And today we are going to revise it. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Types of plants. Children, just like you and me, plants to grow. They grow in different places and live for different periods of time. Trees. Children, what are called trees? Yes, the big and strong plants are called trees. And they grow tall and have a thick woody stem. It is called trunk. And you know what? Trees live for many years. Now the next one is shrubs. Shrubs are small but strong plants. For example, rose, champa, croton, tomato, etc. Children, as you can see in the picture, shrubs have woody stems. Some shrubs are bushy. That's why we say shrubs have woody stems and they are bushy plants and they live for few years. Next, the third one is herbs. Some plants are small and they have weak stems. Such plants are called herbs. For example, spinach, mint, coriander and many more. Now, as you can see in the picture of coriander, it has soft green stems and roots. Okay, this is an example of herbs. And also, Herbs are weak and don't grow very high. And herbs, they don't live for a long time. They live for few months. Children, can you guess what is next? Yes, it's climbers. Climbers have weak stems. That's why children, they cannot grow straight on their own. So, they need support of walls, sticks, or other plants to grow upright. For example, grapevine, money plant, pea plant, and many more children now which one is left yes it's creepers some plants with weak stems that grows along the ground around another plant or up a wall such plants are called creepers for example watermelon pumpkin sweet potato, musk melon, etc. Children, we all are different from each other. Just as no two human beings are the same, the same way, plants also not the same. They are also different like us. Like us, even plants have different parts and each part has its own function. 
shall we recall it okay the first one is roots roots hold the plant to the ground and they mostly grow under the ground do you know children trees have big roots and herbs have small roots stem or trunk if it is a part of a plant then we say stem if it is a part of tree then we say trunk stem holds the plant up it takes food and water to all parts of the plant some plants have weak stem and some have strong stem leaves leaves make food for the plant flowers flowers make seeds or fruits the flower is the most beautiful part of the plant flower leaf and fruit grow on stem children just like us plants also breathe grow and die plants make their food by a process called photosynthesis photosynthesis means green plants turn carbon dioxide and water into food using energy from sunlight plants store food in different parts of their body like roots leaves stems flowers and fruits they not only prepare food for themselves but are a source of food too while some plants cannot move and some plants can move a little some plants require water daily while some plants can stay without water for a few day okay then that's it for today children hope this will be helpful for you and uh, keep practicing take care thank you